Hello there, I'm Black Bright. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for inviting me into your home and you're welcome in mine. Um, yeah, I talk about a variety of things. Today I'm going to talk about um, why we are where we are. And um, yeah, let me first thank my subscribers for supporting me. If you like what I talk about, please like, share and subscribe. And so, yes, getting back to the topic at hand. Why we are where we are? Well, first and foremost, they say, show me your friend and I'll tell you who you are. A lot of us, we've had friends from school. We've had friends um, throughout our lives. And sometimes when I talk about friends, I'm not just talking about the friends that we've grown up with or the people we know from work. I'm talking about anything or any person that influences you. That could even be um, people on Facebook. It could be the YouTube channels you watch. It could be your parents. It could be, like I said, your friends. It could be your colleagues. It could be associates. It could be employers. It could be anybody who you take into your circle and you are influenced by. And it's really important to be selective when you keep friends, in quotes, and when I'm talking about friends, I'm talking about the description I just gave a few moments ago. So when you're thinking about friends, because your friends determine your values, and if you're looking at something on Facebook or if you're looking at something on YouTube, you, you are resonating with something on, on those two platforms. Similarly, the people who are around you, you're resonating with them for a reason. And so it's very important to know what their values are and whether they align with yours. Because you, if they're influencing you and they're not influencing you in the right way, you can end up losing big time. So take, for example, you've got some friends and... Um, um, I can't think of any... Well, let's just talk about property for a moment. You've got some friends who are in the property market. They've got homes. Um, they've got two or three properties. And you have one property and you're thinking to yourself, I wouldn't mind having um, another property. But you're kind of scared and you're thinking, oh, I don't know if I can pay two mortgages. Um, I'm a bit worried about, supposing I can't get any tenants, stuff like that. So you go to the friends who have got their properties and who seem to be doing pretty well. And you say to one of them, oh, look, you know, I'd really like to know how to, how you do, how you have a second property. How are you making it work? And they say to you, oh, um, you need to speak to an advisor. You need to, uh, all of a sudden, they become like business minded. All of a sudden, the friend zone, um, you've been relegated to like a business partner or something from the way they speak to you. Because now they're not telling you from their personal experience how they did it, what they've done. They're telling you to go and speak to an advisor or an accountant. And you're left thinking, oh, I really wanted some support there. I really wanted to feel encouraged. I really wanted to do something um, with this money I have. But you're left there and you're thinking, OK, and then you, OK, if you do try to speak to advisor, it's coming from a totally different mindset. It's not coming from a place where someone cares about you. It's coming from somebody who is doing a job. And that is not what you want. And what can happen is because your friends do not have the same values as you, because you probably would have been saying to them, oh, look, you know, you can get an interest only mortgage. You don't have to worry about um, getting tenants because the um, the money you get on your interest, you know, the money you save on getting an interest only mortgage will more than compensate. Your tenants will pay um will probably end up paying the mortgage for that property and may even end up paying the, the mortgage on your other property. You know, you've got somebody who's got that experience, who's able to tell you and eliminate those fears you, you have. But 
if you and that is something that you would have done so those are your values to be helpful to be supportive to be caring but the values of the the friends that you're with is not so they are um i don't know if it, the selfish is the right word or fear i don't know what the right word would be but then their values do not align with yours and what can happen is is that it ends up with you making wrong decisions and that's just based on the people you're associating with now supposing because that friend hasn't given you the rights of the right advice well they're giving you advice but it's based on you going to a financial advisor you go to a financial advisor who's only interested in making a little profit who, who gets commission you might end up taking a property that you wouldn't have ordinarily taken if you'd had proper advice from somebody who knows what's going on on the ground and then that decision will um, determine the action you might end up with a house that you might not want or I don't know but all I'm trying to say is that depending on who you hang around with could determine the decision if you've got a friend who he's going to say look you know take the risk you know it's not a big risk because what will happen is you know you'll get some tenants in that'll pay off your, your pay off for your mortgage 10 years down the road you are going to be able to um, recoup your money and you might get you, you know your house might go up in price and you'll be better off as opposed to one that says oh no I wouldn't I wouldn't reckon that you do that um, you know you'll probably lose the interest rates might go up you're going to end up um, without anything going to lose you know somebody who's negative so that would impact the decision you make and that would also impact the action you take because you're either going to buy a property or you're not and then that will impact the results so you're either 10 years down the road without nothing or you're 10 years down the road halfway through your mortgage with a property that's increased in price so that's why I'm saying it's very important to be selective with your friends to to select your friends with discernment to look at their um, background look at what where they are look at how they interact with you look at to see if whether they are crab in a barrel type people they want to bring you down while they go up so they can feel as though they're in a more superior position those are the kind of things you have to look at if you want to come out from where you are so many of us wonder why am I where I am and yet A is there and B is over there and I'm stuck here I'm still stuck at the bottom and you'll guarantee that if you look about look at the people you've been hanging around with and you have been taking maybe wrong advice or you haven't been coming outside that circle and associating with people who are where you want to be because that's the only way you can do it you can only do it by mirroring people who are where you want to be having role models who've done it and you can ask them how they do it and they're, they're, they're more supportive they're more encouraging they're willing to share their experiences or you can even read books or you can watch YouTube videos of people who have done um, what you want to do because if you stay around with the same circle of friends or the, even if it's your parents sometimes parents are quite discouraging they'll say oh no you can't do this you'll never amount to this or you 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 shouldn't do this or I wouldn't take that risk just because in their generation they didn't have the courage to take those risks so they then um, you then inherit their fears and you inherit their negative attitudes so it could even be your parents who are not lifting you up so you can reach the next level so it's very important to be among people who are achieving I remember when um, I was living in America I'd never owned a house before I went to America I was in a council um, house and I, it didn't even dawn on me that I could own a place but I was in America and my sisters had a house my other sister had a house I had a friend who had a house everybody around me had houses I said to them you know how do you get a house then and that time I was in a rent 
rental apartment and the lady kept on saying to me, oh, I'm going to end your tenancy um, because I can't afford to um, pay for the oil. So I was feeling kind of unstable and insecure. I was in a precarious situation. I had a stable job, but the home situation was terrible. And then what I did is I decided to go on one of these, um, what do you call them? Assignments, mission assignments that took me to Africa. And what happened was it, when you go to Africa, you not only get your salary, but you get the salary, you get like a hardship salary. So it's like you've got two salaries in one. And because you're in Angola, there's no way to spend your money. You could actually accumulate your money. So what would happen is I could accumulate that money. And then by the time after a year, I had enough to put a deposit on a house. I was able to get a house. But it's only because the people around me planted that seed that if they can do it, I can do it. And sometimes that's what that's the seed you need to see other people doing something. And if you, they can do it, you can do it. And it's about mirroring what they do. Sometimes people aren't always open with how they've done something because sometimes it's about, you know, maybe, I don't know. But so not everyone is open about how they achieve things. But the fact of the matter is, is that I was around people who encouraged me. And yes, when I was in America, I was able to get my house. I would have never thought I could have been a house owner. So all I'm saying is that who you associate with is really important. And then that would, like I said, their values leads to your decisions. Your decisions lead to your actions. Your actions lead to your results. And so when you're thinking about the new year coming up and you're thinking about where you want to be, whether you want to be where you are or where you want to be somewhere else, Start thinking about who you can emulate, who you want to hang around with. Look for people who are where you want to be and hang around with them. And you never know, you might have a wonderful new year. And that's all for now. Bye bye.